can do any bicep variation you want. I really like what is called the perfect curl. Uh, reason being is because it places a massive amount of tension in the bicep through the whole range of motion. And if you remember, the, the key guidelines to getting a muscle to look the way that we want and to make it harder and denser and grow is to A, work the extremes and B, get the biggest squeeze possible at the top. And this is one of my favorite exercises to do that. It's called a perfect curl. But you could do literally any curl variation you want, right? As long as you're not compensating and cheating and using momentum. So the perfect curl is gonna look like this. So as you come down, you're gonna lean back so that my biceps are still on tension, right? I don't want to be here because there's no more tension on my biceps. If the dumb, uh, dumbbells are in front of me, I still have tension on my biceps. As I come, as the bar dumbbells come up, I come forward, squeeze as hard as I can, and then I rotate my pinkies out and squeeze as hard as I can. So it'll look like this. And so the reason that we want to turn our pinkies out is because if you notice, to work the shortest end, we want to get to the longest part of the, the muscle and then the shortest. For the bicep, this is the longest part. So that's why we don't want to stop short. We want to open our elbow all the way. I even like to flex my tricep so I know my bicep is fully stretched. And then at the top, you'll notice if I go from here to here, right? This is shorter. I can make my bicep get even shorter if I turn my pinky this way, right? So I want to do that to get to that shortest point of the curl or the bicep. And so um, a lot of people, they'll just stop here or here and they're missing this little piece. And uh, the other thing is I, as I squeeze my bicep here, I want to make sure that I'm crushing this little spot before I rotate, okay? Um, and so that's your perfect bicep curl. That's the one I would recommend. You could use uh, dumbbells, bands, bar, pretty much whatever. Um, whatever you are using and whichever variation you do choose, make sure, so for example, if I'm doing a dumb, uh, standing uh, band curl, I don't want this stuff to be happening. I want to make sure that the tension is only in the bicep and I'm not compensating anywhere else, right? If other things are moving, that usually what that means is I'm compensating using other muscle groups. That means the tension in the focus muscle group has gone down, which means I am not getting the biggest bang for my buck 